Wow! I've never seen the sea before! Impressive, huh? Just what was that girl doing in the village? Wasn't she being held captive? Maybe it was the other way around. Maybe she was being protected. <laughs> Elise? <laughs> Tipo, look! Well, hey! Check out that water! You'd die if you fell in. She's not a bad girl. It doesn't seem that way. I wonder if we'll find someone who'll take her in. That's your responsibility. You'll have to find someone on your own. Right. I guess she really is mad. Hmm. Isn't she always like that? To be honest, I thought for sure she was gonna shoot down your idea to bring the girl along. Why? She's just so single-minded. I bet she'd kick a puppy if it got in the way of her mission. Come on. Mila isn't that cold-blooded. I wonder. Speaking of her mission, I hear you two had a rough time at that lab in Fenmont. Did Mila tell you about it? Well, she must have swiped something big from there, huh, kid? Some juicy national secret that got the army all riled up? I don't know. You'd have to ask her. He was there. He should know. He was the dude in the coat. Had to have been him. Don't play coy, kid. I'll find out eventually. Why not just tell me now? It'll be our little secret. I'm sorry. I really don't know. Well, I guess she really doesn't trust us. No, that's not true. Wait here. I'll go ask her. No, no. If you really don't know about it, then forget I asked. I mean that. I'm not trying to give you a hard time. But... I doubt she'll take kindly to me poking my nose in her business. So don't tell her I asked, okay? All right, got it. Hey, we better get our stuff. You're right. Looks like we're almost there. Look at that little puppet thing. I wonder how tight Rashigal security is right now. <laughs> Looks like everyone's getting along, at least. Don't worry. Everything will work out. Looks like security is not so tight after all. Soldiers are still patrolling, though. We'll have to be careful. Strange. What changed? They were deploying soldiers across the border to find us before. Maybe they found something more important to do than chase after us. I'm not complaining. Let's avoid the soldiers and head to Fenmont. Hang in there, Elise. It'll just be a little while longer till we reach the city. Then I'm sure we'll find the perfect person to take you in. What? But I... Take us in? What the hey are you talking about? That could've gone better. He just told the little lady he's unloading her on a perfect stranger. That's news to her. No wonder she looks surprised. And he thinks I'm inconsiderate. He's just a kid. Hmm? Nothing. Fresh mutton! Fresh mutton. <laughs> mutton. <laughs> oh, I guess I haven't properly introduced Elise yet. I'm Elise Ludis. 
Well, you look like you'll be a fine lady when you grow up. I'm Alvin. It's nice to meet you. I, um, well... Don't talk to strangers, Elise! Strangers are bad. Why is this stuffed animal talking? Huh? Tipo always talks. Naturally! Oh, so I'm the one who's reacting strangely? Sure looks that way! <laughs> I'm arguing with the stuffed animal. How unusual. Unusual, she says. Coming from you, Mila? <laughs> I don't want your mutton! Trust me. The beds are way softer at the inn here than anywhere else. You focus on the strangest things. All right. I'm checking in. Can we really afford to relax like this? Take a look. Alright, so. How'd they have done that? Be careful, Elise. A sailor in the Sea Haven has been staring at you. Oh, I didn't notice anything. We might just be overthinking things, but he might know something. Maybe we should chat him up. I can strike a fair deal for our first time customers like you. This place always has nice weather and great food. I always look forward to stopping here. Are you suspicious sailor? Russia Gaul is a country rich in nature and Sapstrath region may well be its lushest and wildest selection. Sapstrath Deepwood in particular is almost untouched by human civilization. Good for you. Where is on your end. We're in the clear. See this suspicious This guy Greeting friends. People call me the amazing bounty hunter. How would you folks like to help me with a little job? If you help me, I'll tell you why people call me the amazing bounty hunter. Sure. Your mission is to eliminate the monsters attacking travelers on the high road. My sources indicate they have a nest in the Sapstrath Deepwood. Now get them! Don't worry, if things get hairy, my amazing self will be right there to help you. Mm. So what's keeping this Tipo thing floating in the air like that? Who knows? Sheer talent, I guess! You there. Would you hear my story? Sorry, we're kind of in a hurry. Some other time, all right? Come on, don't be like that. Linger a moment and bring an old man some joy. What kind of story? You don't want to go there, Jude. Give this guy an inch and he'll take a mile. Don't worry, young man. I promise the story will be worth your time. Why, it might even save your life. Sounds interesting. Tell us your story. That's more like it. Now hear my tale of monsters. Many years ago, a young man named Triv Trivel lived among the Northern tribe. Trivial had a talent for controlling monsters, an unusual gift that gave him the ability to draw out a monster's hidden powers. But Trill's genius was not so easily sated, and he began to dabble in the forbidden arts. By tampering with monsters' mana lobes, he sought to create a monster that would grow stronger with every battle. Tampering with mana lobes? But that's not possible. No, Trill did it all the same. After over 20 years of research, he successfully created six new monsters. These creatures, with their hyper-enlarged mana lobes, could cast new spirit arts 
out of pure instinct. Each of the six monsters had a weapon growing out of its body, as if each was living incarnation of a weapon itself. These weapons were dubbed Devil Arms, and the monsters themselves Devil Beasts. Oh, I hope I get to get those. Do we get six characters? In all my many years as a mercenary, I've never heard a story like that. Heh heh heh. Of course you haven't, young man. Twenty years ago, Trill took the six devil beasts and led them into the Great War. But a huge tsunami hit the battlefield and washed everything away, including Trill. And thus, the secret knowledge needed to create these monsters was lost. That's it? Thanks for wasting our time, old fella. Ah, but the story's not over yet. You see, the Devil Beast didn't die that day. Trill's death released them, and to this day, they still roam free somewhere in the world. And you said these Devil Beasts get stronger with every fight? I did. And now that they've been fighting for over 20 years, I can't even imagine how strong they must have become. So listen well. If you see a monster with a weapon growing out of its body, do not attempt to fight it. That, my friends, is the moral of my little story, and the secret to a long life. Devil arms. Better save. My goodness, that music. Oh boy, that handmaid of yours is a piece of work. I don't value his temper, but he is quite skilled. He said he's been serving you for years. Yes, he cleans up the shrine, he runs errands, always with a lot of enthusiasm. He buys my clothes and arranges them into outfits. What? Wow, your handmaid has exquisite taste. Yes, the clothes are very comfortable. I quite like them. Looks like our wanted poster is making the rounds at the Sea Haven. Hmm, does this sort of thing actually work? You tore it down? Yes, but I can't imagine a poster like this will give us any trouble. Do humans have a different sense of aesthetics than I do? Well, anyway, Mila tore down, so we should be safe here, right? That'll never work. Keep tearing them down, and they'll keep putting them right back up. Mila? It's nothing. Alvin's right. Even with this terrible likeness, we can't afford to take chances. We should move on. All right. Given enough time, they might manage to make a replacement key as well. We need to hurry. Replacement key? Oh. A military checkpoint. I knew things were too easy. What do we do? Well, hey! What's over yonder? That's the deep wood. If we can hike our way through there, we'll come out right near Sherilton. Then our path is clear. How are you going to get up there? It won't be easy going. What about Elise? You knew she'd face risks on this journey. <clears throat> I'm fine. Really. I can go with you. Don't argue, you guys. You're pals, remember? Elise. Aww. The girl has agreed, so this matter is no longer open to debate. There's something more to her. I think she has battle chops. I will bet you she does. And if she doesn't, her little buddy does. Oh, sweet. Hey, I wouldn't physically be able to do that, but you go.
You seem to know a lot about this area. Never actually been in the deep wood before. But there's a first time for everything. Okay, let's fight this. Die. I need to get a feel for how the fights are. Nice one. Damn it! I keep missing it. Ready? Got it. Chaos! You owe me. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to. Oh, am I doing the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> Was this really the only way? Yeah, I think I'm drastically under level.